Hello and welcome to this fifth in a series of instructional videos about the ease of access environment in Windows 10. Now the ease of access environment is where we can make some system changes to personalize the Windows experience and how we use it, interact with it. So if you have a uh, disability or an impediment, whether it be visual, hearing or physical, this is where we're going to be able to make a lot of those changes. Now before I go on, I'd like to ask you, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. And also, if you want to be notified of any other videos that we produce, please hit the notification icon bell as well. Now in this particular video, we're going to be looking at high contrast. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be looking at another feature in the ease of access environment. In this case, it's going to be high contrast. To get there, as always, we're going to go down to the bottom left of the screen to the start button. That's going to look like a window. And if you're unsure, just hover the mouse over that and you'll see it'll tell you what that feature is. So in this case, it's telling us it's a start. So we're going to left click on start. And everything is a left click, by the way, unless I say otherwise. Again, on the far left, we have a bunch of icons. If we bring the mouse up slowly, you'll see the first one is power. The second one is settings. That's the one we want. We're going to click settings. Now we're in the window setting environment. This is where we can make a host of changes to the system. But we're only interested in ease of access at the moment. And by the way, if you make any changes here, keep a note in a notepad of what the settings were before you make any changes. That way, if you don't like what they are, you can go back to how it was before. And if you find it difficult to go back to those changes, to the originals, then it'll give somebody else an idea of what you did and an idea of how they can fix that for you. So, left click ease of access. We've already talked about the display and the cursor and pointer, the magnifier and the color filters. We're looking at high contrast. If you've missed those videos, please go back and review those. So here we are in high contrast. Now I want to say at this point, you'll probably notice that my screen over here is black. Yours is probably white. That's because I always use my operating systems in dark mode, whether it's Windows, Android or whatever. I always use dark mode because I find it less strain on my eyes. Anyhow, here we are in high contrast. We can turn this on and off with this slider button just by left clicking on it. Or we can use the keys on the keyboard. So in this case, it would be the left alt and the left shift key at the same time as holding down the print screen. Now you'll find that the those two keys, the, the Alt and the left shift are over on the left hand side and the print screen is usually up on the very top row towards the right hand side. But we're not going to use that feature. We'll turn this on from here and you'll see it says please wait. Now this is probably similar to how yours would start off out. But the high contrast means that the text is more contrasted against the background than it would normally be. Also the link settings as well, because all of these, when the mouse changes from an arrow to a finger like this, then uh, that means it's a, a link, a clickable link. So let's go, because this is uh, doing my eyes in, let's try one of the others, shall we? So let's say high contrast two. There we go, it's made the change automatically for us. And we can see the text much more clearly. Now, if we want to make any changes to how the text looks, for example, either the text or the hyperlinks or the disabled text, we can make those changes down here. So we'll click on here and we have an option to use this color chart. At the moment, the text is green. 
we can use this red green blue we can change the um, settings here for change to change the colors or we can use hexadecimal coding now if you're used to hexadecimal coding that's something that you would use if you were typically doing website design or something like that HTMLs so hexadecimal coding always starts with a hash so for example a white would be hash ff 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 uh, black would be hash zero 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 and red would be hash ff zero 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 it's well worth looking at, at those you might come across those if you're using other programs but let me just show you turn this off and i want to show you something so here we go let's minimize this this is my desktop lady looking through a window down onto the world as soon as you go into high contrast it will make that desktop or wallpaper whichever you want to call it disappear to something plain so let's just turn this on and here we go this is what the desktop now looks like in high contrast mode it makes all of these icons easier to see so this makes the system wide change and that is really all there is to the high contrast i hope you found that interesting and useful thank you for watching